Welcome back, everybody, to round five of Epic versus Showdown Time. No Lux versus uh, Dreams, and I am not on the play for game five, if that's correct. Yeah, and being on the play is definitely pretty huge in this matchup. Let's you just I would concur worry about smallpox at all. Has the person on the? I mean, it's it hasn't been because of being on the play or draw, but has the person on the play won the games every time? I do feel as though that's true. I believe the play has won all four of the games so far. Yeah, because I think we've been trading the games back and forth. So, yeah, yeah. I guess I won the first die roll, and we've been trading trading games back and forth then. Yeah. So the question is: Is it going to be the play every game, or are we going to break serve here? Not sure. Ooh, this hand is pretty medium. I still don't like the idea that you could potentially sacrifice your birds on turn two to get a uh, Magus of the Moon. You know I'm gonna do it if so you let that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like I don't know. I mean, what would that give you? That give you like plains, forest, nothing else. Magus of the Moon. Beats the shit out of me. Yeah, we're taking Ultra Evolution. Bye. In Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, I mean, I would just play Inferno Titan in 10 turns, and you wouldn't do anything until then, so. Yeah, and it would probably be, like, the last three points of damage, too, just to add insult to injury. Oh, no. It's the first three points of damage. Oh, it my. It is the last three points of damage, and it's the first three points of damage. It would be all 21 of them. It's pretty good. I think we're just going to go with a Bitter Blossom here and say okay. pass. Okay, yeah. Smallpox would not have been great here for you, I don't think. No, it would be subpar for sure. Um, all right. First things first, I'm the realist, and I'm going to smash with Boys of Resurgence. The realist. <laughs> That's like Mickey Minaj or something, right? I can't. I couldn't. I can't yeah, even. You don't. You don't. You don't know. Okay. Don't want to know. <laughs> <with it. laughs> I couldn't. I can't. I can't even. Oh, I could have just tapped that for black mana. That was silly. I shouldn't have sacrificed. Why the? Why would you need black mana? Well, just just if I didn't know oh, what I was going to fetch yet. Dear God. No, black mana wouldn't have helped me. I can't use black mana to cast Chameleon Colossus. What is this curve right now? <laughs> Yeah, Birds of Paradise, pretty OP. All Are right, well, let's... Re you get wrecked. Since you want to wreck me, you got to get wrecked. Flying tendrils? All right, all right. You want to wreck me, I got to wreck you, bro. All right, all right. Let's wreck each other. Come on, don't do it. What do you got? Don't you dare. Oh, my God, no! <laughs> we are in some kind of trouble here gang yeah you've got access to only black mana and i've got a creature that doesn't care about your black mana oh man we needed a land right there so bad all right well let's go two modes okay we know his last card in hand so there's no point in doing that we just You're need to go two modes life. here we are killing the crap out of magus of the moon get off my board Interesting. Life gain. Yeah, you only have a two-turn clock here, I guess. Yeah, I mean, we needed to gain that life pretty bad. Oh, okay. If you so, commit to the, the pump attack, then yes, it's literally a two-turn clock. Here's the thing with that pump attack. I don't actually love it. Um, you don't? I love it. The thing is, you either have Oblivion Ring next turn, or you don't. And because, <laughs> I, drew, because I drew Wall of Roots... I want to set up the potential for me to play Inferno Titan next turn. Ugh, it doesn't feel great. It doesn't feel great. Okay, well, we're going to need to do some work here, I believe. This also lets me play around like Liliana oh, and man. something like that. Like if I just pump and then man. use Smallpox, that would be pretty embarrassing too. Yeah, you're not wrong. That this is a tough, Titan. tough spot. This is a tough spot. So he's got the Inferno Titan in his hand that we know about from our previous information on Your turn one total position. Is only getting lower. Bitter Blossom is slowly chipping away at our chances to survive. And even though we have this Lingering Souls in the graveyard to block Chameleon Colossus, it takes a significant amount of our tempo to be able to do that. And we're only getting further away from being able to deal with the Chameleon Colossus. So... Oh, 
God, this is really a rock and a hard place. Um, shoot, how do we do this? I think we still want to, uh, it's so dangerous. No, we just die. It's incorrect. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, if, let's, if let's go with hit the you, plan where we don't die. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because if chameleon hits you, you are deaded. Yeah, dead, dead, deaded. Dead and deaded. Yep. And I am so let's pray Manasaurus. that we don't draw a Manasaurus. Come on, Lux. No Lux given. Oh, my God. No Manasaurus. Because if he had a Manasaurus, he would have done it pre-combat to clear away the spirits and have won the game on the spot. Correct. So well, It wouldn't have won the game because I wouldn't have also been able to pump. But it would have won the game because it would have been pretty nasty still. So. It would have, yeah, it would have been something I could have come back from. Um, okay. So this is okay, but still pretty rough. That herb work is super annoying. I have to click all my basic lands twice. Ugh. My life total is still high, and I feel like the ability of Inferno Titan to just nug him for the last three. I mean, he plays a lot of discard, but he can't really effectively play Thoughtseize here either, so. No, but I can get it out of your hand, and I okay. intend to. I figured a Liliana could be on the horizon for sure. So let's, let's, huh, this is another tough spot in terms of what we're supposed to do. Because it's important that we value this card, even though in general we would not in a spot like this. So in fact, we're going to discard our uh, second Bay Bay. Makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. I'm already hell bent, and I've got creatures to sacrifice, Kitchen Finks included. Like, yeah, exactly. So there's no need for that. Let's just hold back, everybody. There's no need to get rust frisky here. And where are my creatures going? That's that, a good question. That, that's actually pretty close. This is a really close one. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Kitchen Finks, I think I still want to attack with it, even though it might trade off with two fairy tokens. Um, I don't oh, it's really not bad, is it? Lily on a down ticking, really. Yeah, I don't think you do. I think your life total is where it's at. I mean, unless I clean up your entire board state. Oh, uh, if you play Damnation, you just win the game, don't you? I mean, with a Liliana on the board, I think that's the point where I actually win the game. If a Damnation and have a Liliana at four, I actually win the game. And Bitter Blossom. Yeah, yeah, sorry. And Bitter Blossom, yes. So what would I... You know what? But I still think your life total might be the most relevant thing there, too. Yeah, I do only have seven turns of Bitter Blossom left if you can just not let me kill you for seven turns. I'm dead. Either way, the spirit is going in front of Chameleon Classes, so it really doesn't matter where I point that. That's getting chump blocked regardless. <laughs> that is accurate. And then, so it's just a matter of if Kitchen Finks wants to swing at Liliana or Face, and I almost feel like that's going to trade with two fairy tokens regardless. So I don't think this really matters as much as I'm debating it here. Yeah, I concur. I'm not. I want to see the second half of Kitchen Finks as soon as possible. Yeah. In order to make that happen, I have to trade with the first half of it, and Chameleon Colossus is not allowed to go unchecked with four open mana. Yep. All right. So we'll trade off here. I will go up to 20. And then... Unfortunately, my life total is still dwindling, because uh, by, no, by no fault of yours. And then I'm going to go up to 22. Oh, goodness, really? Is that happening? It's not super dirty, but still reasonably dirty. Oh, okay, okay. I thought it was the super dirt. Yeah, it was not Restoration Angel. Yeah, that, that would have been almost unbeatable, honestly, even with uh, a constant slew of fairies. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I'd cast Restoration Angel there. I think I'd wait till after Damnation Resolved. Or, that makes sense. Or in response to Liliana Downtick, maybe. Hmm. So we're in the same position as before, essentially, where Liliana Downtick has a uh, minimal value, but it doesn't have no value. So I'm almost almost sure that we have to downtick here. Yeah, you have to do it for sure. And I have a really interesting because so do I want Court of Calling 
and Revelark to still be good draws for me. Theor like, yeah. Y yes, I do. Um, <laughs> Why, yes. Yes, I do want to draw good magic cards. I kind of feel like you... D uh, no, I gotta still play around Damnation. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna sacrifice mm -hmm. Kitchen Fakes. He snuffed us out, did he? Alright, well played. Um... We're going to have to be a little bit more judicial then about our line. Let's just go with the other souls. Okay. And I'm quite sure you can I still need to, tr I still need to, no, I still need to trade with the first half of Kitchen Finks. It's not valuable enough to attack, so we just hold back. Yeah, I agree. I drew a land. Yeah. Nothing crazy. Let's send this at you and this at you. I think they're both going to get chump blocked and traded for regardless here. Yep. Hmm. This is actually a little bit more interesting than it looks like because of the card in our hand right now. I'm pretty tempted. Yeah, you know what? You got to have... You gotta have you gotta risk it, gang. As a wise man once said, you've got to risk it for the biscuit. So we're gonna solo chump the Chameleon Colossus and take three. Okay. That's pretty surprising. Well, given the nature of one very solemn visitor, we yeah. need to make sure that we're playing it correctly. So yeah. we are going to not lose Liliana at this stage in the game. Discarding Le Thoughtsies. Yeah, that card seems We're bad. going to cast our Solemn Friend. That makes sense. Tick and him up to give us a little bit of lifelink turn, action. Your creatures get plus one, plus oh, and lifelink. Yes, so this is the situation where we will finally begin attacking. Because attack life, 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 lifelink, no, definitely not that. <laughs> um, the lifelink is relevant. Now this fairy can trade with the first half of Finks by itself. And Chameleon Colossus doesn't get protection from white, so we get two more life on that exchange, allowing us to protect both of our walkers while simultaneously finally applying some pressure. And any type of cunning spark mage wins me the game. Not quite, though. Eldritch Evolution for Spark Mage and Core Court of Calling also win you the game. Yep, yeah, that's what I meant, any type of... Uh... That's why the deck is so cool. Your deck is so cool because you can play <laughs> one cunning spark mage... And just, it feels like you have 55 million copies. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. All right, so just the cam cam? Uh, no, I think I still want to send both. This one can pressure yeah, Liliana. That's on, on this flash card in my hand. <laughs> oh, Finks can come after. Oh, now you can attack Bay Bay. Yeah, your life total's really high at this point, so. I was in the club hollering, hey, Bay Bay. All right, so we gain our four life, which is very crucial. Bitter Blossom no longer killing us by itself. That's true, yeah. And Soren's just ticking up now, and you still have Lingering Souls in the bin to flash back for the future. This is... Yeah, this is a, a little bit of a corner turn. For sure, yeah, this is a good one. All right, I think... Now you're going to cast Damnation? I think we start with a Liliana <laughs> discard. See what the last card in his hand is. All right, I'll show it to you. Oh, you'll show me, will you? There's the Rastow that we've been waiting for. Well, I will admit that's slightly disappointing for us because it's going to reset the Kitchen Finks, and we've been we've been very <laughs> very we've been, been very trying. deliberate. We really have been trying to make a, a, a clear path for our buddy Damnation. Um, you really do have Damnation? Uh, well, we've been playing like we've had it the whole time, right? <laughs> I mean, had it the whole time, Lux. Had it the whole time. I would have slammed it ten turns ago. <laughs> Dude, you gotta, you gotta have patience if you want to really There's get no him. There's no way. There's no <laughs> way. <laughs> Yo... So, uh, Chameleon Class is still threatening to absolutely strike us from the face of the earth. I think now, there's no way thinks you would have put yourself reset. dead to Cunning Spark Mage either. That would have been so embarrassing. Oh my god, the actual <laughs> embarrassment. Um, oh man, now it's just tough. Man. 
Yeah. Resto I putting think... another creature on the board too. <sighs> this is this is a little bit tough, but you know what, gang? You gotta know when to hold them, and you gotta know when to fold them. So you do have damnation. What? What about what? Crazy. All right, damnation. Did you, did you not believe me when I said I had damnation? Yeah. I think you didn't believe me. I believed you, and then I didn't believe you, and then I believed you again, and then I drew Revel Arc, right? <laughs> no, that's not. Don't you dare. That's what I get to do. Um. So, interestingly, you could take up the Soren for no value or make a bat here. The bat's ultimately almost just trading with it, but you know what? I still like the idea of making a bat, so we're going to make a bat. Yeah, I don't think you want to try to ultimate it in the face of me just getting to uh, attack it down to four anyways. Mm. Well, this does not look great. Um, I'm gonna I mean, I'm willing to trade. I'm willing to trade. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to attack Liliana here. At Lily, eh? Mm-hmm. Oh, actually, I won't block then. I'm not interested at all in that. Hmm. Well, if you don't block, now Lily can't down tick, so she's got to... You're absolutely her. right. You're right, she does. Luckily, we just have this shitty thought seeds we drew. Fair enough. Um, Then we get the flashback lingering souls from our graveyard. Yeah, that's the dirty part. The vampire presents, presents a real clock, and we'll swing in for three in the air. Gain that life back. Yep. All right, no blocks. And we've got some decisions to make once again. Very interesting. So if he does draw the Revel Arc, the aforementioned Revel Arc, um, then it's pretty damn good on this board. He's got uh, some some good targets in the graveyard in the form of Magus of the Moon and Wall of Roots. Uh, I guess it's not overly relevant in this spot with all the mana you have in my Flying Armory. But if you have Eldritch Devolution, then you get a very nice choice of lots of creatures in your deck. I couldn't imagine you wanted to trade that. Yeah, not for not for life linking guys anymore. No, 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 certainly not. Uh, we'll go ahead and play a land, because there's no reason to discard it willy-nilly, and see if that's a second copy of Resto in the hand. All right, so it is a Court of Calling, and because you, because you used Liliana here, I can't just go and get Eternal Witness, which is what I would have liked to have done, mm. Uh, mm. and then put a relevant card in my hand. Yeah, yeah. So I'm either maybe looking that, at uh, Restoration Angel, Huntmaster of the Fells, or one of those two. Huntmaster certainly doesn't seem terrible in a spot like this. Yeah. I mean, uh, though I you have think... to wonder if Resto's better against the Flying Army. I don't think Cunning Spark Mage can really do it here. Mm, not likely against my Bitter Blossom, no. I don't think parity is what you're looking for here. Yeah. Yeah, Bitter Blossom and two Planeswalkers makes this really tricky. Tireless yeah. Tracker is an interesting one too, but I don't think good enough. Yeah, because if you're drawing more lands from this point, it's just bad for you, right? You're already yeah, on but flood. It, but it turns my lands into relevant plays, I guess. Yeah, well, that's actually true. Couldn't think of it. The extra land you have just means you can crack the clue as soon as you'd like. So I think Resto is a great card and a combo piece here. I have the requisite mana for Kiki Jiki, which I think is going to make the uh, deciding factor here. Yeah, Kiki could be really tough for us to beat. I can draw and, Kiki, and by Korn, really tough for us to beat, I mean impossible. Evolution. I've got a lot of Kiki Jikis in my deck still, too. So. Mm. Kiki, you Resto know, seems great. I'm pretty... I'm pretty okay with the idea of you know what no it's fine we're just gonna we're up digging don't be silly interesting i think both of those and both of those soren activations are pretty solid here to be honest i wouldn't have mind making another vampire bat only because that would allow me to trade with one bat for a restoration angel that being said i don't think your line of attack is to oh, attack no, me to no, death no. With restoration angel but 
get me with the Kiki combo. So with that being said, I'm not too concerned. I'm just playing a little bit of defense. It's crazy that, yeah, your your plan was to, or I had you down to two at one point, but now I have no <laughs> interest in attacking you. Yeah, you were getting there on the beatdown plan, but I played a very, very slow, I gotta stop the bleeding plan, and now you can beat me with your combo, because that's what your deck does, but yeah. you gotta draw it, buddy. And I forgot, I actually did have two other outs, because I have real cards in my graveyard, that means I can also draw an Eternal Witness to end the game here. And this was a great game, man. This is a good one. One, two, series. three, four, five, six. Yes, sir. Am I missing something? You can't Kiki right now. I can go get an Eldritch Evolution and turn Kitchen Finks or Eternal Witness. Oh, no. No. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a good one, man. Well fought. We fought, um, yeah, really. Well played, my friend. We, uh, we fought all the way back from the dregs of death, but sometimes... You witness eternity in a single card, and uh, <laughs> evolution's a funny thing, you know? You can't get in the way of it. All right. Uh, is this the part where you ramble where I combo so that I don't have yeah. to think? <laughs> so Kiki Jiki plus Restoration Angel is something like ramen noodles and sriracha sauce. If you're not familiar with the combo, um, you put a little sriracha sauce into your ramen noodles and it spices things up exponentially um there's even a whole youtube rap video by young uh chef about top ramen in fact nobody's gonna give him top ramen unless it has <laughs> sriracha sauce so what you need to know is uh jesus christ what a savage uh beat down good 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 game, man. What a great game. This, this was definitely, yeah, this was the best game by far. This was the only game that wasn't just like a Blood Moon Avalanche Rider game. And we both got to show off a lot of our deck here. So I am happy about the result. And then obviously I'm happy that I got to crush you as well. So <laughs> Obviously this army of angels is ready to eat my soul. Obviously. Will he make the right amount of copies? Let's put him to the test here. Does he make the right amount of copies? I'm also going to go ahead and put a stop on my beginning of combat just in case I accidentally click through some stuff here. Because they make see. this Two, a little three, bit seven, on Magic Online. Nine, 11. Tell me I'm at effectively 21 life. So, and then he has to not attack Planeswalkers. Also oh, a man. real possibility. No, I can click uh, attack all at you. Mmm, rude. Rude. It's not like damage. Yep. <sighs> well, yeah, not one luck was given today, my friend. All right, I think I think we should uh, we should end it here, as, as exciting as this might be to watch me. <laughs> I, I agree wholeheartedly. For, Everybody for enjoys now. seeing this happen, but we're gonna scoop it up and say, well done, no luck's given. Great match played and a great final game to stop this on. For sure. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Remember, we both have more content for both of these decks. Feel free to, free to subscribe to see more content from both of us in the future. And also catch us live at twitch.tv slash Dreams and twitch.tv slash given. All right. Thanks so much for everybody watching this video series. Hope you liked it. And until next time, we will have more Epic versus Showdown time in the near future with even more sweet action. So see you then. Peace.